<laughs> okay. I'm sure but there's a guy who just went past runs. with his dog. His dog can identify the markers. It ran in there, spotted the flag, barked and called him in. And if you get a really good time, you can pick whatever car key you want. <laughs> so it's a mental and physical challenge at the same time. It's not just how fast you can run. I am up at Crawfordsburn Country Park where I've been invited along to try orienteering. For a very long time, I just thought that orienteering was something that like youth groups and scout groups did. But apparently, perfectly normal sane-minded people do it all the time as well. Richard, what is orienteering? It is a sport where people get a map and there's points in the map and they have to find it as quickly as possible. And does everybody run it or can you walk it or? People will, see, people will dog walk it, people will run it, people will, you know, go as a family unit. It's entirely up to you. But... Registration dogs. We've got a dibber for control points, a thumb compass or a thumbus, and as a Manovas, a responsible adult is going to show me how this works. I feel like I'm in minority report. <laughs> So the compass is ah. always flat on the map yeah. and I can yeah. get the compass on the map at the same okay. time. And how do you avoid running straight into the nettles? You usually don't. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, is this the start? I think you find the start. I think I find the start, okay. Right. I'm winning over. Right. There's a sign over there, it might help. <laughs> oh yeah, Lagan Valley. I'm 5'11", so which of these should I pick? <laughs> I think we'll go for the short for the first time. Which I say about my height. Uh, Have you brought your greenhouse with you? Is it <laughs> I've noticed already there's a big age range or a few kids away off. There's us, middle-aged. <laughs> uh, there's a few older. slightly older than us. Yeah. We're just yes, going to say down that we're off. Uh, but. And we haven't registered because we're doing the filament. That's okay. Okay, so you don't need to write us down. Okay, you but you can shout words of encouragement as we go. Well, go, go boys, good luck. Thank you, let's go. Enjoy your map. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh. Immediately stop. Okay. So it looks like you have to develop skills in carrying multiple things at once. <laughs> well, it makes it a bit harder when you carry the camera, Steve. Okay. Yeah. Control description says fence east corner. Okay, we're about to overtake oh, some serious can, looking competitors. Can we overtake these ones? Can we overtake them? We might get past, we just managed to get by. Okay, so. Square fancy thing. And, oh, I think I see it. Round the back. Ah! Here we go. Let's so define these. Dead. Right, that's one done. So we're on to the next one now. It's map facing north again. We're here. We're in this big field, which is there, up here. So it's up at the top. Beautiful meadow. <laughs> you look like an antelope running through the Serengeti. <laughs> The grasslands of Crawfordsburn. I'm out of here. So I think. Oh, there we go. He's taking it seriously. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Number two. Don't know if you just saw that in the drone shop, but there's a guy who just went past called Ben who runs with his dog. His dog can identify the markers. It ran in there, spotted the flag, barked, and called him in. There is such a really wide diversity of people doing this. It's like all ages, all abilities. 100%. We're here. Number three, back on diagonally yeah. down. So we could just Up chop the, the corner off. That direction. Follow that tree, chop the corner off this field. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so something I've realized is this happens on all kinds of terrain. We're point in originated in Scandinavia, so. <laughs> All our forests, yeah. but also urban orienteering as well. We're completely running around streets. You'll be running around somewhere in Belfast. Yeah, or... in our, in our ah. Belfast, you could be running around. Here's Alan, the planner. We've got him to blame. So you're the poor guy who's had to run around and put all these markers out. Yes, and I've got to collect them all in again at the end, so I've got to do it twice. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> One six six. Park corner in this field. This grass is hard to run. In. There's another field, so we just run across the field there. Okay. What I'm noticing is, um, unlike other races, where you just get your sort of your endorphin hit at the end, you get a little, you get a little hit every single time you you check off one of the points. As you say, every little checkpoint you get to, every control you find, it has a wee boost of energy for yeah. you. 
Just, just way up there, Richard. Past the nettles. Past the nettles. Thank you very much. <laughs> Giant Lego block. Don't hit that in your bare feet. <laughs> but there's obviously a road here with a branch on it going that way. So which is there. So follow this path until we find the bend. Does he know something we don't? He's choosing to go through this. Yeah. And cover the top. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll stick we'll stick, stick, to, stick to our plan. Stick to our plan. Oh, someone else is going this way, so <laughs> I assume our, must be we right. picked the right way. I was just gonna fly straight through the trees and assume I wouldn't get lost. Compass point the right direction to that open field. Yeah. North, north of my compass is north of the map. Yeah. So we'll basically find something that direction, head that way. Go that way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Smells funny in here. All right, right. Rectangular field, and this looks like it's right on the far tree. Far tree. Oh, massive dog. <laughs> Number 100. Last one done, and then we just have to get to the finish. <laughs> I mean, this is basically an organized version of what I sometimes just do for fun in like forests. I'll just go off the path and, you know, aimlessly, I'll use, I'll, I'll, I'll bring up Google Maps. I'll find like a clearing or something in the satellite view and I'll make my way to it. Oh, finish. <laughs> We're done. Well done. That was a lot of fun. I didn't expect it to be quite as much fun and when you get to each point, you get this little rush every time you find one of them. I definitely did not expect to see such a wide variety of people doing it. You know, people walking quite casually around it. Some people taking it very, very seriously. Um, and such a big age range as well. A lot of kids and families seem to do it. So I've definitely had fun. I definitely think I will come back and try it. Richard, thank you very much. If anybody wants to try this, what should they do? Um, yeah, check out the LVO webpage, lvo.org.uk, and you'll see what events are coming up. There's quite a number over the spring and summer, so yeah, great to see you there. So, now, we can run along now. As I said, I had fun, but don't take my word for it. We'll get a couple of opinions from people who do this all the time. It's fun, good for fitness, good running. Enjoy navigation. Did you have fun today? Yeah. Did you have fun? Is it good to lie in Gets you out, fresh air, opportunity to walk the dog, takes you interesting places. So it's a mental and physical challenge at the same time. It's not just how fast you can run, so you can compete with people who are a wee bit faster than you, as long as you don't make any mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get to sit in a car park and you know, <laughs> do terrifying things with computers. And <laughs> Enjoy being out on my own, actually. Get away from people. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably not the idea of it, but that's what I like about it. It's just good fun. It is good times. It's good crack, good people. They're getting really good at reading the maps and using our compasses. Yeah, you have fun. We, we like finding the beep beeps. Tough today. I like it because it just gets you away from all their stresses. You can just go out on a course for half an hour, an hour, and just enjoy it. There we go. We run with the dog? Yeah. What's that like? It's good, yeah. I think she enjoys it more than I do. <laughs> I like because I can come with my family. 